So these are my colors. Let's talk pouring medium really quickly. I did a two to one ratio for a super thick consistency. Here's my paints and here is the pouring medium on top and I'm going to stir it together and voila. What's going on, beautiful people? This is Garrett Brown Art Studio, and I'm back with another video just for you. I hope you're doing good because you're looking good. Listen, baby, we got something dope we're doing. I call this Summer Sprawl because it has elements of summer and a little bit of spring, a little bit of fall. So, you know, spring, fall, sprawl. Anywho, this is the Feel Good Painting Station. We have fun, we talk love, you know what I'm saying? We just have a great time. And if you're new, welcome to the family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will be back in just a sec. What up, what up? This is Garrett Brown Art Studio and you're looking at the paints for today's video. This was made from my copper and black mixed together. This color was made from my orange and copper mixed together. Then I added just a touch, a very small touch of green and black paint that you saw. Mixed it together and got this really gorgeous color. So everything today is going to be of the Blick brand. And here is my consistency. It looks thick and it is thick. However, we need a good thick paint to get some defined lines. I mixed up my paints yesterday to give them time to rest and remove as many air bubbles as possible. They have thickened up just a little bit overnight, but it is a good consistency and exactly what I want. The amount of water that you add to each set of paints is going to be a little bit different because they are made of different ingredients, even though they're from the same brand and some thicken up more than others. But what I use is a little squirt bottle and I just squirt a little here, a little there until I get matching consistencies. All right. So all of my paints received a gentle stir this morning. And this is going to be my pillow paint. Now listen, this is a combination of a bunch of colors because I was just trying to get this color. So I can't tell you what's in it. However, what I can tell you is the... Uh, ratio is one part paint to one part pouring medium and then thin with water to get this consistency. So I wanted it considerably thinner than uh, my paints that I'm going to pour on because for today I'm going to cover the entire canvas. What I have done is I have painted my sides to make it easier so I don't have to be doing all that touch up. And we're going to pour this out. So it doesn't make a mound on a mound, but it kind of just sits there and sinks right in. Now we're going to take our colors and pour them in.
We're gonna start at this corner and work our way down. And I left more paint in the center. Um, and I anticipate the weight of my paint to be in this area. And so then that will determine how we tilt. Wow. Oh my goodness. Looks like fire. I'm about to go bonkers. I, this is hot. But, so, I have a little bit too much paint on my canvas. And I love everything about it, except I think some of this needs to come off. Um, and I need to remove some more of the paint. So I am gonna have to tilt it a little more. I'm afraid what's gonna happen, but look at this composition. This is correct, this is psychedelic. <laughs> I mean, look at the gorgeous lines. Everything is so defined. I even like this part. Um, very few cells, which was definitely the goal. But let's see what happens next.
thank you for tuning in with me today. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. This one first year on YouTube has been amazing and I appreciate all the support. Um, if you get a moment, check out uh, my anniversary video. And as always, family, remember, do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. I will see you very soon and stay tuned for that sneak peek.